Uh, so this is Cyrene 2. We have the fin going across the back. That's going to be in the water. And this part is going to be floating on top of the water. Hopefully, if everything goes well. <laughs> so let's get the building process started. Oh, whoa, whoa, I got this. <laughs> All right, that's going to be the tail. And now I just got to screw everything together. Yeah, you can move. Oh, you can tell there's so much salt water that this screw is like barely functional. <laughs> so this cable, <laughs> this cable um, is going to go through these loops and that'll uh, be able to provide tension to move the, uh, the sections of the ship. So I'm just lacing these through so that I can control these two just by pulling back and forth. Last time, uh, these were big, giant, floatable boxes. So there was just too much flotation, too much uh, buoyancy. And so this time we have these fins uh, on the bottom. And those fins will uh, hopefully, this part will be just the right amount of buoyant and that'll be just the right amount of thrust. Cold, it's supposed to be Miami, what the heck? Last time I learned, like, the lesson was to get in the boat in the shallow part or else uh, I'm gonna, you know, fall right out of the boat. So I'm gonna get in the boat here and then slowly back out. <laughs> if I get killed by a stingray, say I died saving, you know, trying to save some kids. My center of gravity is pretty good, um, and uh, now I can see, I can probably try and control the tail. Remember, think like a dragon. Well, I'm getting more torque than I used to last time. This is where having a nose would help a lot, I think, to counterbalance some of this. I could try and attach it to the lower part of the boat, but the minute I get in the boat, it's going to try and plunge this underwater. That might be the end of today. Uh, it disconnected, so we're just going to see if we can just test one variable by moving the boat, uh, moving the tail instead of the boat. This guy's coming out. Please support me on Patreon, and thanks to my patrons, Anita Andre, Key, Sahaj Singh, George Hampton, and Matt Perez. You make this all worth it. The tail I thought was gonna like drag behind it better, but because it has so much resistance from the bottom fin, it it doesn't want to uh, it doesn't want to move. Its inertia is way higher, which makes sense. Um, and so when it was moving in air, it was a very different sort of. Oh yeah, this one just broke off too. They were they were all at their limit. Hey, this is Adrian Perez, and uh, I'm recording from my uh, experiment with my 
fishtail uh, boat. And uh, yeah, it kind of disintegrated, but it went pretty well as far as learning goes. Thanks and see you later. Ciao. You got AC in that thing? There's a whole cabin underneath.